Welcome back, everybody. I am, for the most part, Adam, and welcome to another Jurassic Trouble. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing all right. So, where we left off last episode, we're working on villagers. Villagers, villagers, villagers. So, I've spruced this place up a wee bit, but it's more to go, but not the focus of today. I've been trading with these guys pretty relentlessly. Got this guy all the way up to six emeralds for chain boots and this is still good well no this guy actually we're gonna have to kill because we want this iron trade on the last spot so then have i explained that all to you guys let's hear i have the farmer the most so what i've been using a lot is this wheat trade so i'll put a bunch of wheat in there because we have our huge wheat farm down there and eventually he's going to lock this trade off and I just won't be able to trade with it anymore. But sort of the key with villagers is if I go to his last trade and I do one of these trades, all I have to do is one. I just chill, some pink particles will come up, and then it unlocks all previous trades. So I can go back in and just keep spamming this wheat for emeralds trade and get a lot of emeralds. So you want easy trades on the last one, so then to unlock them you don't have to spend a lot. So, on this guy, an iron trade seems to be the best one in Doc M's opinion, but that's also based on if you have an iron farm. And I don't know right now if I want to build an iron farm. Maybe far in the future if we really find it necessary, but I mean, I'd be okay with any of these trades, like especially one of these diamond trades because I've already gotten pickaxe two diamond swords from trading with this guy so if I was on the last slot I wouldn't mind at all I'm gonna throw on this stuff again the big end guy this guy's pretty cool and this guy he's doing pretty good I haven't seen a whole lot of trades because I've I have a bunch of these archaeologists ru just running around but I've seen the javelin trade the fern seed trade uh, this trade, there's also usually th three emeralds for one biofossil, and then uh, there's one more trade that I've seen, but I can't think of what it was. But this guy right here, this is the ticket. Because if we can get his trade for paper for emeralds on the last one, that's where we want it. Because then we can make an enormous paper farm and just get emeralds all day from him because it would never lock up because it's his very last slot <sighs> yeah so that's that's trading that's where we are with the trading great so now it is Tyrannosaurus Rex time and let me get some stuff ready for that where is only oh I did a lot of paleograph sort of Farming-ish. I just kept planting them and kept chopping them down, so I got quite an amount of paleograph wood. Nope. Ah, this is a place. So, oh, there's that whip. Great. Too late now. Alright, so you say he got out because I was using iron bars, but I'm not too sure, because if we review the tapes... He didn't break the iron bars, he only broke the... Whatchamadoos, the nether brick. Yeah, the nether brick and the glass. I think it was just because it was spread out, spread out too much, and then... Oh, I need to go get all those iron bars. It was spread out too much because I was trying to go, you know, every other... Every two areas to try to save on iron. And then I think he also, because, like, what happened was his hitbox was hitting it, and he couldn't get through. But then he turned around, and I think he got stuck on one of the bars, and, like, say this is a bar, he, like, turned around. Like, he was still stuck on it, but when he turned around, he turned around outside, which was super inconvenient. So let's grab these. I'm still going to use this design, but for a safety precaution, you say he can't go through obsidian. So let us... Get some sitting. Oh, and while we're here, I can show you. I made a, a manual shutoff for this thing, so we can stand here, get the pearls, shut it off. Great. And now we're stuck. 
So that, I think, was a good idea, so then we're not just wasting pearls all day. Okay, so let's go to the area we want to go to. I'm thinking back over this way. Wander Over Yonder. Have you guys watched that show, Wander Over Yonder? It's new on Disney Channel, new Craig McCracken show. It's pretty good. I haven't seen a whole lot of episodes. I like this librarian. He's been here for a couple nights now. But yeah, I haven't seen a lot of episodes, but everyone I have have has been pretty good. So this whole area is sort of... has like holes and stuff. Hmm. But we do want it far enough away. Let's keep it. It'll be... It'll add to the terrain and... T-Rex's good old rugged nature. So this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try iron bars every other block, brick, and hopefully this will work. We definitely need it taller. He's a big guy. But yeah, let me keep going here. I'm going to pretty much do the same design I did last time, but we'll pretty much encase the whole thing in obsidian, so just in case anything happens, we'll have a second layer of defense. So, burbs. All right, for clarity's sake, I'll do what I was saying. So, I just harvested all my wheat, so we can go to wheat for emeralds and all day. Just emeralds, wheat, yeah. But eventually here, he's going to stop this trade. Right here. See, so I'm clicking on this, but same 48. So if I come back out of him, and then I go back in, it's going to be some big X's, and I can't trade this anymore. But if I go to the very last trade, and just trade with it once. Walk back. Boom, pink particles. If I click in again... Now we can trade this again all day long and get some emeralds. So that's sort of just the whole idea behind trading. Just easy ways to get emeralds. And then since it's easy ways to get emeralds, then we can come over to like this guy and buy useful things. So like maybe I need some chainmail boots. Just grab that. There we go. And... Hopefully that unlocked something in him. A lot of these guys are starting to slow down how quickly... Oh yeah, it did. Ooh, 18. Ah, but that's finally helpful because I've been stuck on him for a while. So. Actually, let's, let's, let's do it right now. We got this guy. We got a lot of wheat still. Oh, he locked himself up. So yeah, you just do this over and over again just did that so now he just reset so this is unlocked again and more emeralds it's pretty spiffy I'm not gonna lie but yeah let me finish this up and then I'll cut back to the T-Rex area alright the time has come sort of so, T-Rex egg, and let's grab our Smilodon, Smilodon, I never learned how to say that, maybe I should look it up, I just call it a saber tooth tire, but yeah, got most of it, well, some, not most, <laughs> some of the, really I killed some chickens in there, there's a lot in there, oh, 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 that was a good shot, right in the hole. But yeah. Got a lot of it built, I guess is the best way to put it. And I think it's enough to hold Mr. Baby T-Rex in, which is sort of the goal. I think, because stuff like that's just not going to fly. Ooh, is there a hole down here? Nope, that's not going to fly either. Maybe I should double check all this. Do I not have any dirt? Great. We'll just obsidian. <laughs> Try to get out of that, baby dinosaur. Alright, so yeah, let's just double check. Any holes? Man, there's a lot of holes. I clearly 
did not do a very good job. Um, there we go. Perfect. Oop. Okay, I think we're good all over there. It's just, yeah. Okay, alright. So the idea is still... The t <laughs> Look at this librarian. He just wanted to check out the new exhibit. Their hitboxes are so big once they're grown that no matter what, they're going to hit one of these iron bars when trying to get out. That's the idea. I see some game-breaking parts of it because I have these little nooks, so if the T-Rex grows here, I think he'll break things. So I think initially we probably want to block him off from going into these until he's fully grown and dangerous and angry and angry as T-Rex. We should name this one Austin because he almost wrecked our entire place just like real life my friend Austin did. Uh, yeah, no, we want it right here. Efficiency 5, how much faster does this make it? Oh, that was actually pretty quick. Great. Hmm? Weird. Okay. Doing pretty good. Oh, look at this hole. Covered. Plop that in there. That there. Cover up these areas. I think we're good. Okay. And just for safety measure, let's put it up there. Cool. So he's ready. I definitely need to get some cows in here, which is something I just forgot about until right now. I think I'm also going to, because I got a lot of obsidian. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to make a couple like layers around this at various heights just until he's tamed and all figured out. Just for a safety precaution. <laughs> that, was, that was a terrifying mishap, and I don't want anything like that happening again. So just encase this entirely in obsidian, and I think we'll be gold, golden. I was trying to say good, and then golden all at the same time. Didn't really work out. Okay, let me finish this up. I will be right back. All right, so <laughs> made some progress there. Let's impregnate one of these sheep. You, sir, with the derpy eyes, have a baby. And we'll check on him in a brief moment, but let's go check on Austin, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I realize this obsidian right here really isn't going to help us much, but I feel like there's so much obsidian, we'll be all right. Dang it. Alright. There we go. Alright, do you see him? There he is. Ah, he's already loving it. Do I have any... He doesn't like cooked beef, does he? No. Okay, um, yes. Then... Oh, there. Oh, not again. Yeah. Then I need to go get some cows. I think actually rails might be the easiest. I've gotten pretty comfortable with using rails. Sounds like a plan. Rails and wheat. Baby. All right, so got him. Oh, look, baby saber to attack you is adorable. So I can't. I don't have any beef on me. I probably can't. You know train him until... Is he about to eat that sheep? Let's watch. Shh, shh, shh. We're observing nature in its most organic habitat. <laughs> he's not gonna eat him. But anywho, I have to wait till he's grown up in order to train him, right? Probably. Come on, cow, onward ho. But yeah, I had a great idea. So, sure, I'm pushing a cow right now. 
but it would probably be smarter to push in like a couple pigs in there because he's not going to eat the pigs and that way if we need oh he just went straight through me if we need some stack cows in there all we have to do is uh, do the whole DNA thing and so that way we always have an easy way to get cows in there if he eats more than come on come on come on yes if he eats like more than just having two left over because as long as there's two in there I can breed them but if he eats all but one then where'd he go tell me he didn't escape Shouldn't have been able to. There he is. Great. Great over there. Okay. Now we need another cow, and then I'm probably going to throw a couple pigs in there. Or maybe some sheep. Doesn't really matter. He doesn't eat either of those. Only the cows. But yeah. Mine carts. Pretty good. Pretty easy way to transport things around. Here's one over here. Shh. Do we get the minecart? Great, okay. Be that way, that way quiet. We're going cow hunting. Do, 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 do. Alright. Ha ha! Perfect. I wonder if you can put dinosaurs in minecarts. Like, can I put ankle in this minecart? That's probably worth trying out. But, yeah, I have to, since I'm low on rails here I have to oh that's not the direction I wanted to go but yeah I have to sort of like push him this way then take all the ones behind him and it's a slow process to get him to the main track but it works and I should probably sleep so almost done here probably gonna finish this up I might make that look a little better before the episode ends but we are getting pretty close to time. Been breeding all of these people quite a bit lately, because... Man, that villager trading system has me just doing random errands everywhere. Catch 11 fish. Uh, <laughs> you need 14 pork chops. I ain't got no pigs, so I had to wait for a pig farm. Lots of stuff. But it's been actually kind of fun just doing random chores. Trying to unlock all these guys. Alright, so I'll see you in a brief moment. Sure, why don't you just help yourself? Those, oh. That's not my pen of animals or anything? No, just go for it. Cool, whatever. <sighs> this guy. Stop, stop eating my things here. I need raw pork or raw beef, don't you? Where are you, man? Stop eating my livestock. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I need more. Come here, cow. Be my sacrifice. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Where'd he go? Oh, yay. He's and I need to eat. <laughs> my inventory is so junky. Great. Let's go put him over by the thing. The thing with the thing. Stop kidding out, guys. There we go. Ha. Yes. Okay. So now I can just unsit you and then we can come this way. Yay. Uh, we should call you, like, Dino. Dino and Diego. Something like that. That'd be pretty good. I wonder, I, I doubt it, but I mean, it'd be pretty cool if, you know how you can dye dog collars? If there was some way you could make these two distinct from each other, but probably not. Which is cool, but yeah, now we'll have two saber-toothed tigers. Come on, come on, yeah, 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 you're pretty close. Oh, you were almost there. Come on. Come on. Come this way. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Dino. Dino. No, oh, dang it. That's always the worst. 
when he's so close and he's just like, yeah, I'll just go under you. That'll, that's the same, right? No. No, it's not. Okay. What if we come inside? Eh? Eh? Nope. Now where did he go? Oh, I lost him. Dino's gone forever. There he is. It's kind of cool having two saber-toothed tigers. I bet we could breed them if we so chose to. I don't know if we would need to, but why not, you know? Saber two tigers. Dang it, don't do it! Man. Okay. Well. Maybe this. This time for sure. Come on. Yes. Yes. Up the stairs. Come on. You're so close. What if we. We could just. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What are you doing, bro? No. Yes. No. I don't know what's up with him. Okay, set. Perfect. Now, is there any way I can push you up here? Okay. Yes. Get rid of this fence post. Yeah, this is totally gonna work. No, not in the door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's happening. Yes. Alright, put that fence post back. Ba doop. Cut down all this wood. Did you guys, I think we just covered this walk, though. If you make sticks out of paleograph wood, you only get two back. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay. There's one more thing I wanted to do today, so let me grab that and I will be all right to back. Okay, so. Didn't put any cows, or didn't put any pigs or anything in there, but got three cows, so I thought that would be good enough, so when they grow up, I can just keep breeding them. He's doing pretty good, um, wherever he, there he is. Still the smallest size, but, yeah. So, one thing, so, I got a question in the last video, and I kind of liked the nature of it, and if any, I don't know, like, if you watch Etho's videos, he always does a comment at the end of his videos and sort of answers it and if you guys want to start something like that I think that'd be pretty cool so question for this one is actually question number two because I did this like a very long time ago but Lewis Davidson asks what dinosaur do you like the most and the answer is actually how do I T yes he's hungry right now good old ankle it's actually like in this game, as, or as far as this game goes, I think his model is really cool and stuff, but way back when I was a kid, I was super into dinosaurs, and ankylosaurs were always just, I don't know, the, the turtleness of them, the huge club tail, they're just cool. They could whack T-Rexes in the face with their tail. <laughs> so yeah, ankle is definitely my favorite. But, that's all we have time for today. Press buttons if you want. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.